Good morning. So today we are moving from uh, a consideration of the foundations for this course. You know, we looked at industrial ecology, um, you know, writ large, we looked at definitions, uh, we looked at a framework uh, for trying to ensure sustainability. Uh, we then talked about life cycle analysis and how to impact uh, the environmental uh, impacts from cradle to grave. Then we looked at the status of resources. Now, in today's class and the rest of the semester, we're going to look at a very broad topic called Design for Environment. It's abbreviated DFE, Design for Environment. So Design for Environment is basically an engineering perspective, meaning um, it's a way of thinking. Um, and so it's an engineering perspective in which uh, a, a, you know, the environmentally related characteristics of a product, process, or facility is optimized. Let's go back and look, peel back, look at some of these words. What does that mean? Um, environmentally related characteristics means those aspects of a product uh, that could potentially have an impact, oftentimes negative impact, on the environment, like the potential for global warming or the potential for toxicity uh, or resource depletion. So that's what we mean. Why product, process, and facility? Well, you know, we have the, the industry, our companies are in place to make stuff that people want, whether they're shoes or automobiles or dishwashers or iPhones. So these are products, things that people want. And uh, process or processes are the means by which we make the products. And uh, a facility is basically like a building in which the processes happen, right? So the facility is the physical building and other um, equipment that will enable the processes uh, to happen. So if you think of something that's commonplace like uh, cakes, right? Uh, bakeries make cakes because it's a product and there's a demand for cakes, conceivably. Um, so that's a product. We have the baking process which you know results you have the batter and then you know you have the you know the the uh, process in the oven in which the you know the the, the batter uh, changes into a cake um, all of this happens in a physical facility called the bakery so the facility is like the bakery uh, the baking process is your process and the cake um, is the product so design for environment is an engineering perspective in which the environmentally related characteristics of a product, process, uh, and facility are optimized, meaning we try to do good um, in terms of performance. Now, in this uh, chapter and uh, the next few chapters, we're going to look at different facets of design for environment because it's a very broad concept and it touches upon the entire life cycle of a product. So we're going to look at multiple um, facets. We are going to be looking at uh, starting today on product design, then we'll move on to process design, then on to material selection, energy efficiency. We have different sources of energy. Uh, we use energy uh, to drive industrial activity and we want to make sure that we use the most efficient uh, forms of energy. So energy efficiency, uh, then we have product delivery. Once manufactured, the product has to be packaged and delivered uh, to the point of use. Then there is product use. And then after useful life, the product is retired. So end of life, right? So these are all different facets. And we're going to be looking at many of them through the rest of the semester. But the broad concept is called design for environment. Um, today we will focus on product design. So what is product design? I'm sure many of you know that product design is a very challenging activity. Um, it is challenging because it encompasses more than providing for functionality. Meaning, you know, you buy a car, why? Because you need transportation, right? You, you buy an electric toaster at home. Why? Because you want to toast bread. There is always a function. Or oh, you may buy cough syrup. Why do you buy cough syrup? Not because it tastes great, because you want relief from cough and cold. So there's always 
um, a function that a product provides and typically and for a long time design has been done solely to provide that function now of course that trumps everything else without the function customers won't buy it but there's a lot more today that you have to take into account that makes this a challenging task such as what well you know we have looking at customers surveying the customers periodically to learn from them what it is they care about in the product and that is something that changes over time you you can't do this once and leave it at that you also need to look at um, competitive products suppose i'm uh, chrysler and uh, you know we make the dodge caravan but so does ford it's not called a caravan i think it's called windstar or something you can keep up with this uh, gm uh, makes its own toyota does uh, BMW does so I need to look at what my competitors are doing uh, do they have new features do they have Bluetooth do they have inbuilt GPS what 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 is the snazzy feature they have I have to keep up with that right then I also have to make sure I'm complying with regulations it may be about child safety uh, it may be about you know other aspects like uh, anti-lock braking system uh, so on and so forth and I have to make sure that I'm protecting the environment, uh, whether it is what the products of combustion are. Um, so it, that to take into account, and you may think, wow, this is a big list. Well, that's not all. There's a lot more. You know, the product has to be appealing. Uh, it has to be uh, easy to manufacture. It has to be competitively priced because you have so many competitors in the U.S. and outside. Uh, who can eat your lunch if you don't pay attention to competitive pricing and it has to be delivered on time uh, in many parts of the world unlike in the u.s you just don't drive to a dealership and walk off with the car you go and register somewhere and you let them know what the demand is and after a month or two when your turn comes you may acquire the vehicle we're not used to that so um, competitive uh, pricing and on-time delivery. So there's a lot that product design involves.